couple of weeks ago, we posted a few photos that I had taken of the space shuttle as it flew over San Francisco on the back of a 747. And those photos got a lot of positive comments, which was really great. And we thought that you guys might be interested in seeing a little demonstration of how I worked with one of those photos uh, within Lightroom. Uh, and I should say at the outset here, this is not a comprehensive demonstration of the develop module, uh, nor is it intended to tell you how you should or should not work uh, within the develop module. Rather, it's just a little bit of insight into my thought process, kind of what I go through uh, when I'm working on a photo. So you can see what this photo looked like when it came out of the camera. It was quite a bit different than what I ended up with. This is not you know, a particularly compelling photo as it is, but I look at it and I feel like I see some potential here. I like the framing and I like the shuttle there with the bridge tower. Uh, and I feel like it's, uh, I feel like it's raw material that I could really do something with. So how do I go from this to this? Well, the first thing I notice is that it's a little bit wider than I want it to be. I wish it was a little bit tighter. So I'm going to enter crop mode. And I'm going to leave the aspect ratio locked at original, uh, just because I like that standard aspect ratio for this photo. And I'm just going to grab the top here, and I'm going to pull it down a bit. About like that. I think that's about what I want. And that puts the shuttle a little bit higher up in the corner than I'd like it. So I'm just going to grab the whole thing and drag it down just a little. That looks pretty good. And I'll leave crop mode. And that's about the framing that I want, although I noticed that this bridge tower isn't quite vertical, and I wish that it was. So I'm going to go back into crop, and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Leave crop. Oh, that's a world of difference. You notice that, right? Okay, so what next? Well, the photo is very low contrast. You know, there was this fog rolling in, uh, which really reduced the contrast. And then I'm also shooting almost directly into the sun, uh, so that made everything silhouetted. So uh, the first thing that I'll try is I'll just try dragging the contrast up. And I drag it up, and what I see is that it's really just making the image brighter. Well, the reason for that is that adjusting the contrast higher makes the brights brighter and the darks darker, and this photo doesn't really have any darks. You look at the histogram up here, and, you know, pretty much all of the pixels in the image are up here at the light end, so that didn't really do what I wanted. What I really need to do is I need to make the blacks uh, a lot blacker, so I'm going to grab the black slider, and I'm just going to take it all the way down, and that brings a lot of detail in. And I can see when I did that, the clipping indicator up here lit up, telling me that I'm clipping those blacks, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to back it off just a little bit. Get rid of that clipping indicator. That looks pretty good. And as soon as I did that, I can see that a little bit of color came into this image, but it's not a lot of color. Uh, it's certainly not a vibrant image. You know, could I, could I improve it? Could I crank up the saturation? Well, that doesn't really look very good. There, there's just not a lot of color data to work with there. So this is about the point at which I decide this should be a black and white photo. So I go up here, and I click black and white. Now, I want to brighten up the whites. I know the whole image is already pretty light, but the whitest parts of the image are still a little bit dull. I mean, you can see this precipitous drop off on the histogram here where basically the, the brightest brights really aren't up there at the whites. So I'm just going to increase the highlights a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to increase the whites as well, which sort of controls the, the roll off a little bit towards the lightest part. Yeah, now I'm now I'm clipping a little bit, but I think that's okay. That's kind of starting to look the way I want it to look up there in the whites. Um, but I do still want some more contrast in the image. In particular, I'd like to increase the local contrast. You know, if you look at these bridge cables, for example, they're very fuzzy because of the fog there. So I'm going to grab the clarity slider, and I'm going to increase that. Yeah, that's a little more than I want, I think, but... That looks pretty good. What did that look like before? Yeah. No, that definitely looks better. 
So that looks nice. So that's starting to get to where I want, but as soon as I made all those adjustments, especially once I bumped up the highlights and the whites, I pretty much lost all detail in the sky. I mean, there wasn't very much detail there to begin with. Um, and what little detail was there is pretty much totally gone. And it's just this sort of featureless white mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a gradient. I'm going to go into the gradient tool and I'm just going to click right up here, top and center. And I'm going to drag down about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway, about like that. And then I'm just going to take the exposure down, you know, just a little bit, not, not too much. About like that. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do the same down here at the bottom. Click and drag up about to the halfway point. And I'm going to darken this down a little bit too, not too much. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to leave the gradient tool. So that's starting to look like what I want. But as soon as I applied that gradient, I noticed this right up here. That looks like dust on my sensor. And I should really get that cleaned. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use the spot removal tool to get rid of it. So I'll click on the spot removal tool and get a good brush size there. Click. And that's gone. That looks like another one right there. Click. That looks much better. We got rid of that spot there. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'd like to add a vignette. Let's scroll down here to the effects panel. We have the post crop vignetting controls, and I'm kind of partial to vignettes. Uh, they can create a nice ambiance in a photo, they can often help focus attention in a photo. Um, I use them fairly frequently, and I think this photo could benefit from one. So first I'm just going to drag the amount. I'm going to drag it down to make a dark vignette. Not, not too much, just... Mm, I can't decide. Yeah, about there. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to adjust the midpoint a little bit, and I don't want that vignette uh, encroaching too much on the shuttle itself, so I'm going to push the midpoint out. That just sort of pushes it towards the corners a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to increase the roundness as well, which should bring the vignette in on these edges a little bit more. So, yeah. All right, that's looking pretty good. So I've done all that. And now I decide, you know, the heck with the clipping. This really still isn't as dark as I want it to be. I wish it was a little darker and more contrasty. I'm just going to drag those blacks all the way down. Yeah, that's kind of the drama that I'm looking for in the scene. But when I did that, when I dragged the blacks all the way down, it really it made the shuttle and the plane darker than I'd really like them. You know, I do want them dark against the light sky, but I want a little bit more detail than we've got there. What if I just cranked the shadows up? Would that do it for me? Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's, it's subtle, but that's what it was like. Yeah, I think that's probably enough difference to make me happy there. But you know what? Too much vignette. Vignette's too dark. Let's go down here and let's make it... That's a little better. Now I look at this and I'm really pretty happy with it. This is really sort of the photo I was envisioning. And the only thing that I don't like is this right down here. Looks like they're doing some kind of bridge maintenance, some sort of netting or something hanging off of the bottom of the bridge, and I'd like to get rid of it. And, you know, for removing something like that, you might normally choose to go into Photoshop. But if it's something simple like this, if it's not too complex, you can usually just take care of it with the Spot Removal Tool. So we'll enter Spot Removal Tool. I'll make that a little bigger. And we'll just give it a click right there. Drag this around a little bit. That's pretty good. Add another one here. And drag this. And all I'm doing, this here is the source. And wherever I drop it, that source gets copied to the destination. So I'm just dragging this up and down to get the bottom line of the bridge nice and clean and lined up there. And one more there ought to do it. A 
little bit up. That's pretty good. Great, and that's looking good to me. And those are the relatively simple steps uh, that I went through in order to get from this to this. Thanks very much for watching.